Just uh, by introduction, I'm Dan. Uh, this is James. Hello. Anna. Hi. And we always forget his name. Andy. But, uh, Andy. Andy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and so, okay, here's, so right there is our vinyl. Basically, um, we were about 18 months into making this podcast, and we decided that we wanted to release something. We didn't know what to do. The guys who do uh, our theme tune, they're called Emperor Yes, and they released an album through this indie rock band called Alcapop. And so I got drunk one night with them and thought, hey, why don't we release our podcast on vinyl? And uh, they said yes. And then I went into the office the next day, and James thought it was a great idea. Andy still hates it as an idea. Uh, <laughs> this is his nightmare right now. Um, Anna didn't give a shit. She doesn't care about our show at all. Um, but it all it all worked out. And we, when we did it, we thought, okay, we better do something interesting with it. So we thought we'd re-release all of the original year podcasts, 52 episodes. Um, so, I mean, but really what we wanted to do was go on tour, sign to an indie rock label, and end up in a record store doing a signing. This is what you wanted to do, Dan. This is literally all I've wanted to do. And Dan's so... friends are in actual bands, and so Dan has always wanted to be in an actual band, and unfortunately he's stuck with us three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But so here we are. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for coming. So, um, we kind of, we're kind of going to uh, busk it a bit tonight. So what we thought we would do is, uh, we thought, because it's been 360 days, has it? Uh, it's been 630 days. 630 wow. days since we launched our podcast. So we thought what we might do is pick some of our favorite facts and just start chatting about that. I don't know if that's of any interest to you guys to hear us <laughs> chatting about our favorite facts. Is that okay? What do you reckon? Yeah. Okay, well, let's start it, and then you can start heckling if it's boring, and we can move on. And then we can do whatever. If you want to ask questions, uh, we, we can just play it by ear. So we'll start it as if we're just going to do our podcast. So uh, we've got four facts in no particular order. Here we go. Do you know one of the records I find most weird is that the uh, record, the world's oldest cat uh, in 2005 was owned by the same guy who owned the previous world's oldest cat. So when the world's oldest cat died, then he was just like, well, I've got another one now that I think is <laughs> older. Uh, and isn't that weird? He's called Jake Perry. His cat's called Cream Puff. And it was something like 35 years old. He fed it every morning. He fed it 35 years old? It's an old cat. Yeah, yeah, that's what broke the record. And that's amazing. I know. And it ate broccoli, eggs, bacon, and coffee those every other, day. Those were other cats owned by the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a theory that the real reason the Titanic sank is not because it hit an iceberg, but because so many time travelers visited it at the same time that the weight of humans pushed it underneath the surface of the ocean. And to me, that makes sense. I think that's... It makes zero sense. No, no, but it, no, no, but it makes absolute... Like, I know it's not true, but it makes absolute sense because if we crack time travel, that's... De like, we'll go to JFK, we'll go to the... We'll go to the Titanic. There will be enough humans. It will be all of us. Does anyone be... else see how it doesn't make logical sense, though? Even if it was possible, there all going back in order to be there at the moment that it sank. No, you wouldn't go so at the moment it sinks. It... You go in the bit just before it. So that so in so the first time it definitely must have hit a, a high spot. <laughs> the second time everyone's arriving a bit early and they're like, Jesus, there's too many people, and then it pushes it down. <laughs> it makes total sense. But but sometimes we're up against this. <laughs> Are we living in the first time of the um of the of yeah, because there are there are accounts of, of millions. There were survivors from the Titanic, and there are accounts of millions of people suddenly arriving That's and then leaving is. as the ship started to sink. Small side non disclosure Maybe millions of gorillas arrived, but no one even noticed them. <laughs> So that's one of the facts that got rejected. Um, another fact that got rejected oh God, is still... that, well, because I'm obsessed with Brian Blessed, I'm always trying to get Brian Blessed on to the show as a fact. Uh, Brian Blessed uh, once survived an avalanche on Everest by yelling it into another direction. <laughs> and Brian Blessed says this himself, and uh, that wasn't allowed onto the show either. Um, Brian Blessed says a lot of things, though. <laughs> Didn't you say that when he came back from Everest, his eyes were so enhanced, or his brain was so enhanced, that he could see the molecular structure of plants? Yeah, yeah, he told me that, he told me that. He t he, so he said that his brain was so wide that he could see, like, the tiny molecular makeup of leaves. I mean, and he said it virtually in the same sentence that he said he won a boxing match against the Dalai Lama. He's, none of these facts have been allowed onto the show.